Picture this. Your money on a wire. Not a metaphor, a literal glass thread under the ocean. Every tap to check your balance, send a Venmo, buy a coffee with your phone. It rides a beam of light through fiber optic cables stretched across the seafloor. I'm talking about the invisible war for undersea cables and why it's personal. My photos, my DMs, my location pings, my late night searches, they all cross those cables. Most internet traffic doesn't go to satellites. It goes through these hair-thin fibers carrying terabits per second. Here's the scary part. Anything that flows can be watched. Tapping or mirroring a cable can turn your private life into someone else's data set. That affects my freedom to speak, to organize, to just be weird without it following me forever. There's money at stake too. Cut one major cable and financial trades slow or fail. A serious outage can cost billions in lost transactions. Billions, because markets and payment rails live on speed. And then there's power. Whoever builds, lands and maintains the cables controls choke points. Control the choke point, shape the flow. Throttle news, prioritize friendly platforms, quietly tilt what I see and when I see it. So where is this going? I see two futures. One, shared, resilient networks, diverse routes, transparent governance, real privacy baked in. Two, competing internets, splintered by politics. Apps work in one sphere and vanish in another. Truth loads fast for some and buffers forever for others. What can I do? Care. Ask my bank, my ISP, my elected reps about redundancy, my elected reps about cable routes, my elected reps about privacy by design, support encryption, vote for infrastructure that treats cables like critical public goods. Because the fight isn't abstract, it runs under beaches I've walked and harbors I've visited. It runs under you. The world's most powerful weapon is a wire at the bottom of the ocean.